Hey, welcome back. So today I've got my 44 on the table and I was doing another project with it tonight so I figured I might as well bring out my 19 and talk a little bit about that. At this point there's been so many reviews on the 19 that there's not a whole lot that I could add to it. I've had this since the summer of 2016. It's the Gen 4 so it's got the finger grooves. It's got the Gen 4 trigger. Safe magazine. Not my favorite trigger. Pretty gritty. Take up. Really hard wall. I'm not sure if I got a worse version. I've heard there are better versions of the Gen 4 trigger. But reset's good. I've probably got 3,000 rounds through this. Maybe four. Uh, over that, the course of that four years. I used it as my carry gun on and off for quite a while. I still throw it in once in a while. So basically I thought, you know, I'll just talk about this as a sample size of one. To me, you can't go wrong with the 19 as your first gun. Um, this is a gun that you can use for home defense. It's a gun that you can use for concealed carry. It's, uh, it's a gun that you can pretty much make work for any application. Uh, it takes Glock 17 mags, which are 17 rounds. It takes the new Glock 23 round mags. It takes the Glock 33 round mags. You can pretty much fit, you know, 15 round double stack Glock mag and up in this gun. This one, I can't say it's been 100% reliable for me because I honestly haven't kept that good a track, but I can't remember having malfunctions with it. And I've run hollow points, I've run FMJ, uh, I've run just about everything. Underwood penetrators, extreme penetrators, extreme defenders, spear gold dots, federal HST, uh, just about everything, 124 grain. 115 grain, everything you can imagine. So for this one, I didn't upgrade the trigger, but I did put some, uh, I think they're Ameriglo True Dot sights on this thing. So I like those. They're definitely not something I get again. I don't, I don't like the white uh, dot right there. I'd rather just have a fully blacked out rear. This one isn't serrated either, which helps with the light uh, reflecting off. Uh, so that doesn't have that. So if I got it again, I get a blacked out rear sight with the serrations in it. This has the tritium night sight, which I would not get again. I definitely like the fiber optic better. This tritium's about four years old and it's faded pretty well. It's really hard to see now, which happens with tritium. They say it's about four to five year lifespan, but I found it's probably three years. I'd say it was even two and a half to three years when this started fading. But other than that, I mean, there's not much to say about the Glock. It, it just really is the best gun, basically, to get for your first gun. It's a good all-around gun. Uh, nine millimeters, ubiquitous. You can get it anywhere. Everyone has it. And the reason I threw the 44 on the table is the 44 is exact dimensions of the 19. And is an excellent trainer for the 19. The only difference with this, because it's a Gen 4, I've got the finger grooves and the slides obviously a lot heavier than the polymer slide of the 44, but if you've got this combo as a new shooter, then you can go out and train. Uh, I think the cheapest 22 ammo at my local store right now is going for 30 bucks for 500. So you can spend 60 bucks and put a thousand rounds down range if you want to in a weekend, which is a great value proposition. Uh, you can't do that with the nine, but it, it directly crosses over. All of your fundamentals you can learn the same on, on the 44 as a 22. So I hope you found this helpful. 
If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. That helps me out. It moves me up in the algorithm, so that means more people get a chance to see the video and have access to it in their feed. As well, if you subscribe and then hit the bell, that gives you notifications when I'm putting out new videos, and you will be able to get informed about that. So thanks for joining me on the journey. LW Road, out.